the most dangerous trade. There's an implied inherent risk in the stock market. Any stock you buy can always go down. Even an amateur knows this. But is there a type of trade that is so dangerous that under no circumstances should you ever attempt to do it? The answer is certainly yes. And to understand the peril that lurks behind this strategy, we need to recall an actual trade that took place back in 1982 to a young boy who decided to get involved in option trading. Options have a strike price, and when the price of the underlying stock is below the strike price, the option is deemed out of the money. And when the price of the stock is above the strike of the call option, it is deemed in the money. When you sell a call option, you receive a small premium. If the underlying stock were to rise above the strike price of the option you sold, you would be required to purchase 100 shares of the stock at the strike price for each option contract you sold. For instance, let's say Apple is trading at $167.30 per share. If you sold the $177.50 call, you would receive $34 for each contract sold. If Apple were to rally above $177.50, you would have to purchase 100 shares of Apple at the strike price for a total of $17,750. As long as Apple were to stay below the strike price of $177.50, you will keep your entire premium of $34 for each contract sold. However, if Apple were to rally above this strike price prior to next week's expiration date, you would be in for a massive loss. In 1982, a trader named Mark Cook decided to implement this strategy. He noted that options that were far out of the money would usually expire worthless since the odds of a stock making a sharp move very quickly was highly unlikely. Things started out very well, and Mark was making thousands of dollars each month. In May of 1982, Mark began to believe he had perfected this strategy and began to really increase his trading. In just four weeks, he made over $50,000. Buoyed by his success, Mark decided to step on the gas. He noted that a stock called City's Service was trading around $27, and the $35, $40, and $45 call options were selling at some very attractive premiums. These options were set to expire in just one week, and Mark believed it was very unlikely that anything could happen in such a short period of time. Reasoning this was an excellent opportunity to make some easy money, Mark sold hundreds of these option contracts. Now, all that was needed was to sit back and collect the cash. Or so he thought. Suddenly, some unexpected news hit the market. City service was going to be purchased by another company for over $60 a share. Because Mark had sold options, he was obligated to purchase thousands of shares of City Service at the various strike prices of the option contracts. In less than one week, he had lost more than $500,000. At the start of the week, his account, which over the last few years he had built up to over $160,000, was now in a deficit of over $350,000. To make matters worse, he also lost thousands of dollars for his family. The issue with selling naked out of the money options is that you receive a very small premium for taking on a massive amount of risk. This is the complete opposite of what successful traders want to do. The profitable trader seeks to limit his risk while exposing himself to a much larger potential gain. Mark did just the opposite and paid a heavy price for his decision to sell naked options. Had Mark decided to run a credit spread instead 
of just selling a naked option, he could have capped his risk. To do this, he would have just needed to buy a call option, a strike above the call option he sold. This would have drastically reduced his profits, but it also would have substantially mitigated his risk. How did things go so wrong for Mark? When you sell an out-of-the-money option, you receive a very small premium. Because stocks are unlikely to make such large moves, over the long run, the vast majority of these trades will come out as winners. This conditions a trader to believe they are a can't-miss or easy money trade. However, there is always the chance of an unforeseen event or black swan appearing out of nowhere. Should an unexpected move occur, as it did in 1982 on Mark's city service trade, the option seller would be on the hook for a huge loss because he or she would have to purchase 100 shares of the stock at the strike price for each option contract they sold. Always make sure to make risk management your number one priority when trading. Even if you have been having lots of success over a long period of time. Let this story be a warning to you to never, under any circumstance, sell a naked out of the money option. While it may be successful many times, when it does not work, you can do severe damage to your account. Oh, and one last thing. The story did have a very happy ending. Mark did not let this one trade define himself or his life. He worked 14 hour days for years in order to pay back his debts. In addition, he used this experience as motivation to learn what does and what does not work in the market. By 1986, he had developed a new method for analyzing the market and vowed to never sell naked options again. The very next year, he turned $55,000 into over $1 million by buying call options on the indexes, which would later skyrocket in value. You can read more about Mark Cook and his story in the book Stock Market Wizards. Mark's story is both a cautionary tale and one of inspiration as he demonstrated the dangers of selling naked out of the money options but also the irresistible force of persistence.